Hi, my name is Shelby, and I'll be talking about Thomas Benton, Hart Benton today. Thomas was born in April 15th in 1889 in Missouri and died on January 19th, 1975 in Kansas City, Missouri. Benton was married to the love of his life, Rita, and had two amazing kids, Thomas and Jess. Benton met his wife, Rita, at the age of 33 in New York when he was teaching a community art class in the town he lived in. Um, right after Benton died, 11 days later, his wife passed away. But before Thomas ever moved to New York or anything, he attended the Art Institution of Chicago to start his art learning. He went there to basically get his foot in the door to learn all of what he wanted for art. After he graduated from the art institution, he moved to Paris to proceed more into the art industry so he can actually go out and learn more of his artwork. After he moved to Paris and back to the States, he moved back to he moved to New York City to basically learn more about art and fall in love with it more. That's when he started teaching the community class where he ended up um, finding Rita and becoming love of their lives. Um, Why Benton was out in New York, he became a realist art worker, like into the art leading up to the decade um, of World War II. Along with him in that realist like movement was his partner Grant Wood and John Curry. These three guys basically focused all of their work on actual things going on in the world, not your basic, let's set up some apples or set up some flowers, let's paint that, Let's just sketch something. They wanted it to be based on something. And when I was looking at Benton's art, three of his art pieces that I'm going to be talking about stand out a lot. It's the 14th Street of New York. He did, because it was downtown town in New York. He did um, the wreck of, the, um, wreck of Oil 97 and Negro Soldier are the three paintings I did because they showed that he was in for the real things and not just let's set up flowers and paint it. He wanted to prove to you. Some of the other paintings I saw was like people out in fields, like houses, towns, like the everyday thing you would see most of the time is what he wanted to focus his paintings on. He also, when I was looking at it, Negro Soldier was in this category. It's like the World War II, like, part four um, paintings he did. He basically just painted about the wars. So, the first painting is 14th Street of New York, um, done in 1928. It's one of Ben's ink, pencil, um, wash on paper pieces he did. You can find this artwork and most of the artworks I did find from Benton aren't like housed anywhere right now because they are all on auction sites. Um, I really couldn't find like things written on this painting. So when I look at this painting, I just see a busy street downtown in New York. So I looked up more into it and... New York 14th Street is one of the main roads leading around and it goes right through Manhattan. So I looked at it more and you can definitely tell it was like one of the busier streets. You can see all the people running around, the cars. I think he just wanted you to know that it was one of the busy streets in the town that people had to just focus and get their stuff done, but also with all the crowds. The second painting I did was the wreck on um, Oil Train 97 
Brack of Oil 97, done in 1943. This painting was done a few, quite a few years after, 40 years after the wreck happened. He did the painting in 1943. The wreck happened in 1903 on, in September. Um, I looked it up more to get more information of what actually happened at the wreck to like compare. And some things are different. So the true story about this wreck was on September 27th, 1903, a mail train was running late um, from DC. Um, the train was running behind. The engineer got told to pick it up. He was trying to pick up the speed and everything. And in the process of doing that, the train lost um, fragments on the wheel and drunk the track and fell into a river. Um, with this wreck, 11 people were um, died, including the engineer. Um, he just wanted to show that there was a wreck. You can see how he has the crack in the train track to show that the train is about to wreck and everything. Um, it was probably one of his hardest paintings. I know for me, it would have been a hard painting to do because you are seeing something bad coming up and happening. Um, I, like this painting had a lot going on in it. So he did change it up a little because in the true story, there wasn't a crack on the train track. It, a fragment on the wheel fell off, lost control of the train because it was going too fast. He just wanted to show that either way would crash the train. Um, my last painting of all of them is Negro Soldier, sorry, Soldier, done in 1942 by Thomas Benton. Um, this painting is a black African American soldier that is challenging Hitler. Hitler is a white man that thinks he is powerful and only cares about white people. And this African-American wanted to change that. He wanted to show that he has a voice. Um, Hitler was known for killing off all Jews. Putting blacks as slaves. So this one wanted to show that he had a voice. Is what I'm getting from it. I'm getting that this guy wanted to show that he had a voice. And Thomas wanted to help him by, like, blacks can have voices. They can do exactly what white men do. And that's what I think was the main thing out of this was they just want to prove that whites, blacks, and all racials have the same meaning, can do the same thing are the same people. And then the thing I learned from Thomas, I'm actually gonna go back to the first slide so we can see Thomas. Um, what I learned from him is he was a big part of the realist movement. The movement he was in was he wanted to show what happens in America. The train, he wanted to show you that trains do wreck. That trains have time limits. With the 14th Street in New York, he wanted to show you that it was a busy street. He wanted people to understand that it does happen. We have busy towns. The last painting, Soldier, the Negro Soldier, wanted to show you that black people had a voice. They wanted to prove it. Some of his other paintings showed you what went down in World War II. Showed you that busy farmers are out there. He just wants to prove that people do have voices. That people are out there doing it. He was definitely known for his paintings. He wasn't known for his drawings. I wanted to show one of his drawings. It took me a minute to find the 14th Street of New York. Because it is one of... The hardest things to find from Benton.
because he's known for his paintings. But all of his paintings are amazing. So thank you for listening and hope you have a good day.